know what is good YouTube, it's your boy Wavy Boy CJ, I am back with another video man. Back with another video, today we're going to be reacting to the tragic downfall of the one chip challenge. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all ever did the one chip challenge before. Me, never have done it. Me, probably never will done it. Will, never will do it. But, if I get 500 likes on this video, I do it. I do it. I will do it. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. 500 likes. I do it. So like the video. Come on the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Um, below the 3,000 subscribers. Let's get into the video. When I went there, he was laying down. And I said, I said, what was that? What was, what was the chip he ate? And this is why he showed me. The tragic demise of the one chip challenge. How did the one chip challenge go from being one of the most popular internet trends of all time to being the cause of the passing of a 14 year old kid? For context, the one chip challenge was an annual trend where the goal is to consume a very spicy chip and see how long you can go without <coughs> drinking any liquids. It was popular on many social media platforms and it was attempted by not only influencers but some celebrities as well. But how did the challenge rise in popularity? Well, it all started in 2016 when the trend of eating extremely spicy food was booming started. in popularity on social media with creators eating spicy foods like ghost peppers. The appeal to a lot of viewers is watching the influencers suffer okay. as they eat these spicy foods in question, which resulted in an entertaining I'm not gonna lie, them videos is funny. I can't even lie. Niche on websites like YouTube and TikTok. The channel First We Feast got popular by inviting influencers and celebrities to eat spicy chicken wings in their series called Hot Ones. To They're capitalize on ones. the spicy food challenge craze, a snack company known as Pocky emerged to create and market a new product entitled the One Chip Challenge. The main premise behind the One Chip Challenge was to film yourself eating the spicy chip. Then, you'll have to post a Carolina video of you doing the challenge on social madness. media with hashtag One Chip Challenge tagged on it. The One Chip Challenge picked up some traction and became a widespread tradition on the internet, especially after celebrities such as Shaquille O'Neal and Lil Yachty did the challenge themselves. Needless to say, the One Chip Challenge was a major success, and it had a very positive impact on Pocky in terms of profits and recognition. However, while mostly everything was all hunky-dory for the One Chip Challenge in Pocky, there were, of course, many controversies surrounding it. While Pocky has made it clear to consumers that the One Chip Challenge is to be attempted by adults only, its popularity has attracted the wrong kind of age groups. A lot of kids and teens decided to do the challenge themselves, some even requiring medical attention after taking the challenge. Some teens oh, even took it upon themselves to attempt the challenge while they were at school, and unsurprisingly, this raised a lot of issues. Following these issues, various schools banned the One Chip Challenge altogether to prevent students from doing the challenge on school grounds. For instance, in November 2022, a high school in Georgia had an incident regarding a student taking the challenge, resulting in the student receiving medical attention. Following these incidents, Pocky once again advised consumers to not do the challenge without knowing what they were getting into. They also reiterated the warnings that are present on every box of the One Chip Challenge while also making it clear that they discourage kids and teens from doing the challenge as young people People tend to be a lot more sensitive to the spices the spicy foods have in comparison to adults. Unfortunately, before you even do this challenge, bro, I think you're supposed to build your spice tolerance, bro. Like, go um like two months eating straight like hot Cheetos, hot sauce, anything that's spicy, bro. Just build that spice tolerance up so you can be able to do it because if you just doing this and you barely eat spicy food bro you're gonna die Fortunately, despite their best efforts to prevent potential catastrophes, it wouldn't be long before the one chip challenge became a main contributor to the tragic death of a teenager this is sad bro died to a chip suddenly a few hours after eating the ultra spicy chip Snack company Hockey is now pulling off its signature spicy chips from store shelves all across the country. This is after a teenager in Massachusetts reportedly died, according to his family, while trying to complete the quote-unquote one-chip challenge. But today, there's an urgent warning about the viral one-chip challenge following the death of 14-year-old Harris Wallava of Massachusetts. 
whose family says he died after eating the chip at school and fainting. On September 1st, 2023, a 14-year-old teen named Harris Wooloba took part in the One Chip Challenge at school, and he went to the nurse's office shortly after doing the challenge. His mom came to the school to take him home, completely under the impression that he just had a bad stomachache as the school nurse never specified the fact that he had consumed the One Chip Challenge. When he got home, he eventually passed out and was rushed to the emergency room, but unfortunately passed away at the hospital. The One Chip Challenge was the prime suspect in being the cause of Harris's death, given the fact that it was the last thing the teen consumed before dying from the complications. The chip had capsaicin, which is what triggers the spice and chili peppers such as jalapenos and habaneros, and spicy foods in general. It's no secret that there have been a metric amount of reports of people having complications after consuming capsaicin, some even experiencing pepper poisoning, which causes horrible side effects with death being one of those side effects in question. So it's fair to say that Harris has died from pepper poisoning. It was simply too much for him to handle. Following the 14-year-old's passing, Pocky immediately severed sales of the One Chip Challenge by pulling it off store shelves and removing it from their website and other online shopping sites like Amazon. They then made a statement on social media which read, While the Pocky One Chip Challenge is intended for adults only, we have seen an increase in teen usage of the product. We care about all of our consumers and have decided to remove the product from shelves. The product's label clearly states it is not for children or anyone sensitive to spicy foods or who has food allergies, is pregnant, or has underlying health conditions. We are actively working with our retailers and are offering refunds for any purchases of our single serve one chip challenge product. So they of course stay true to their word and How is it how is it Pocky's fault if they like, already clearly put this stuff up on their website, clearly stated kids don't eat this, teens don't eat this, but grown people only. And they still did it. How is this Pocky's fault? Like why did they have to remove their product? Like niggas know how to read. Come on now. and decided to give out refunds to anyone who has purchased the 2023 one ship challenge and as of this video they're still handing out refunds overall a lot of internet challenges can be safe and fun for everyone but it shouldn't stop people from taking extra saying. precautions from doing said challenges and it definitely should be a responsibility for content creators to warn their viewers of the dangers of what some challenges can do to your health thank you for watching i still don't feel it like like why why was it they fault? Why did they have to start putting out their product just because a kid really, really that was in high school, 14 years old, I believe, I believe that like went ninth grade, 10th grade, no, I believe that's like 8th grade, 10th grade, bro, it don't matter, bro, but he know how to read, he did it himself, and he paid the consequences. I, he probably, he, there's no way he didn't um, drink water. I don't think he drank water, milk, anything after consuming that chip. I don't think so. But yeah, man, leave y'all comment down below about this video. Have y'all did the one chip challenge ever? Or no, man, let me know in the comments down below. It's a white corner. I'm out. Peace. This is crazy.